Okay, gonna list a, oh, I forgot what year it's, black TJ tub. I think it's an early uh, range of them, uh, 98. Uh, black TJ, 1998, will work on a 97 to 01. You can put them on the newer ones, but there are some slight modifications on the firewall you have to do. Otherwise, it's easier just to buy the tub you're looking for. I'm gonna probably say this is a grade C because it's got some, had some aftermarket stuff on it. Put a couple extra holes in it that didn't come stock on it. Couple dings, dents, uh, that stuff. But you're gonna see it as if you were here in person. That's why I do these videos uh, and whatnot. So calorie is good except for right here. This is where one of those brackets was mounted. This had like a funny Hummer conversion on the front end of it. Actually, it's listed on the website. You can see what was on it. Um, but otherwise, uh, that's all clean. You could sh surely fill that in, I'm sure. And then uh, the rocker area is in good shape. It's got holes down in those areas there where they had um, a slider on it, a rock slider. And then up through here, they had uh, bigger fenders. You can kind of see the outline of where they were on them. Uh, so some extra holes. And then they had body armor on the rear of it. So in this area, was all under the armor. So we didn't see it until we pulled it all off. But the uh, gas tank filler area has got some um, kind of tears. It looks like they cut into it and folded that back for whatever reason. We folded it back over the way it is. This is just a wire that's sitting here. Um, and then this ding, this has got a good size dent. Good news is you can get in from access from both sides. So this is probably more suited for somebody looking to wheel in it or something. But who knows? I mean, it depends on what you have and whatnot. So the, the circular tail lights is for LEDs. Those are obviously were not stock. Um, the hinges are included, but they're kind of stiff, so whatnot there. And then the side, uh, that corner is actually in decent shape. A couple extra holes in it from the armor. Um, this side is pretty all solid. Same holes the other side has. And then down to the rocker area here. And then the same bracket area that was mounted up to that side. So firewall's all straight, solid. The thing came in running and driving. Like I said, it had a kind of a Hummer front conversion clip on it and whatnot. A uh, little surface rust, um, actually just all on the paint. It looks like probably more so came from the bar um, than anything. No broken bolts there for the roll bar. Uh, straight, solid back. No, uh, well, actually a little bit of a hole or crease or tear or something in the metal there. And then a little bit beat up through there even. So definitely got a couple areas back there. Um, this area, floorboards are solid. Uh, looks all like all the holes on this side and the other side came out. So nothing broken off in that. Uh, floorboard is smooth, a uh, little bare metal showing. We'd want to get that covered up. This is um, just surface here, nothing, everything's solid on this. So no rust in the floorboard there. Same with the passenger side, a little dirt sitting over there, but everything's in good shape. Let me raise it in the air. And so you can see the underside, that's actually sometimes the most important. They can be dinged up uh, all over the outside, inside, whatever. But sometimes the bottom of them, is uh, what makes or breaks selling these for some people, depending on what exactly you're used to using. So, okay, you can see all the tubs in the background. Obviously, if you don't know who we are, it's Jeeps Unlimited, north of Denver, Colorado, 303-666-9020. Okay, so other than a little bit of dirt on the bottom of this thing, the channels are great. Uh, that one's perfect. No rust there. Let me see if I can focus better there for you. Okay, this one's perfect right there and all the way up to the front and those are perfect there why is this important well this is what mounts your frame to your tub or to this tub so if those are rotted out or collapsed this is all clean under here no rust uh it makes it extremely difficult to uh to mount and these things aren't very easy to replace people do them but it's kind of a channel that runs through here so that one's in good shape uh no rust there this one's in good shape no rust there. There's some dirt on these. Like I said, they're just from sitting on. You can kind of see as I wipe it. It's still got the original paint underneath there. So very good shape. Um, all there. Absolutely no rust in the bottom side of it at all. So, you know, had the top side been in good shape, it would have been graded a grade A and we would have got 2500 bucks for it. But since the top side is pretty beat up, it's discounted. It's got a good floorboard section, good underside. If you got better sides and want to recut and re-weld all that stuff on that might be the easier way to go with and just mix the two otherwise you could easily fix the side of this one or just use it as is build some rock crawler out of it so it comes fully crated we have uh six of them leaving a day these things sell as quick as we list them especially because we do not charge a ton for them we're one of the the most economical but also sell the best quality out here so we have grade a tubs you can see them out there 
Um, again, they go for about 2500 shipped. Um, and then prices are going to take a major increase because we've been selling these things so quickly here the 1st of June 2017. So if you're watching this video before then, uh, definitely you can call and get a great deal on them right now. Uh, frames, they're selling quickly too. We buy everything running and driving. Uh, so we don't buy any wrecks out here, which makes us very different than most yards. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. That's it for me, 303-666-9020. If you want to purchase this tub or others like it, visit us on the website, jeepsunlimited.net. Again, that's jeepsunlimited.net. I appreciate your time. Thanks a lot.